welcome back. So outside right now, we do have partly to mostly cloudy skies, still some showers and thunderstorms into our eastern counties. We have stayed mainly dry in North Platte and points off to the west, but we have kept a good amount of humidity as we went through the day today, and temperatures have stayed hot, currently at 93 degrees after reaching highs into the upper 90s today. It does feel like 98. Now, that dew point is at 69 degrees, so close to that oppressive level of humidity along with the temperatures, but the dew point was in the lower 70s earlier today, so a little break in the humidity compared to earlier on in the afternoon because of those thunderstorms into our eastern counties. Here's a look at the current temperatures right now. 93 at Lexington, 96 at Broken Bow, 101 at Imperial, and a 98 out toward Ogallala and Valentine, with the dew points mainly into the mid to upper 60s into our southern and eastern counties. A little bit of a, a northerly or a little bit of a westerly wind, especially from Ogallala, points off to the north, much drier air with those dew point values near 50, some areas into the 40s. So here's what it looks like on the wind map, still a southeasterly wind into, say, uh, the Broken Bow area, Lexington points off to the south, and uh, variable winds, but trying to flip around to a drier westerly flow, as you see here up toward Thedford and Hyannis. So that will give a little bit of relief, but that uh, drier air does uh, heat up pretty quickly. So we do have a heat advisory in effect. Now, say from Imperial, North Platte points off to the east. This does go until tomorrow at 9 p.m. Central Time. So we're going to keep the extreme heat out there. Most of us, once again, staying on the dry side with mostly sunny skies up toward Valentine, Arthur, Ogallala, even down toward Imperial. But we're keeping our eyes on some storms. They don't have a lot to work with. Uh, every once in a while, there's a little spin in the atmosphere. The heat will... Uh, produce some storms, and some of them could produce some hail. Uh, we've been tra tracking some storms across Dawson County. It looks like that, uh, that activity is really starting to weaken, but up near Victoria and south of Brewster, just like last night, we have a strong storm once again that is moving through Blaine County. Shouldn't be in our viewing area much longer, but that's the... Uh, the strongest storm so far. So you see how isolated the storm chances are across the region. Still in that big warm sector, but we've got some energy from this cold front back here, and every once in a while a disturbance will make its way through. But the main jet stream still off to our north, keeping us on the very hot side. So the best chance of some showers and storms are off to the east of North Platte. Maybe some, uh, some areas in the south of North Platte could pick up some showers and storms. And uh, temperatures falling back through the 70s this evening. We will clear out overnight with lows into the upper 60s. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, highs will be into the upper 90s to near 100. More isolated storm chances are possible anytime, uh, especially as we round out the work week. We should be clear during the overnight lows in the upper 60s, highs back into the upper 90s as we go through Friday with more isolated storm chances. So we'll stay in this pattern for the next couple of days. The main low is moving off to the north, but this cold front is approaching and will eventually also move to the north, so we will keep at least that isolated chance of some showers and storms in the forecast. We'll keep it around 10 to 20 for a moisture chance. Otherwise, mostly sunny upper 90s the next couple of days, 92 on Saturday, 96 on Sunday. Still 10 to 20 percent chances of moisture through Monday, a high of 98, then low to mid 90s. Temperatures fall Tuesday and Thursday of next week as the chances for some showers and thunderstorms increase. Kent? Well, we knew the hot weather would come at some point, and boy, it has arrived. Yeah, as is typical. It usually does wait until uh, late July. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. Coming up, we preview tonight's Plainsman Home Finale as they take on the Colorado